is the Glass Cannon Network. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Matthew Capitacasa Hour. As always, I'm your host, Troy LaValle. <laughs> what did you lie? Uh, the what audience goes wild. It'd be weird that it's called the Matthew Capitacasa Hour, and I'm the host, and who's everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> what are you all doing here? <laughs> what, what is this show about? And, um, I'm on, and I'm only on like 40% of the episodes. <laughs> It's not, just, even, it's not even on the show anymore. <laughs> Let's just change the name. Eventually, <laughs> it will become Matthew Capitacaza Presents The Hour. The Hour? <laughs> yeah. And I'm your host, Troy LaValle. <laughs> Once again, Matthew couldn't be with us this evening. <laughs> it's like Joan Rivers doing The Tonight Show. <laughs> Did you, do, um, you, have to, you have to read the copy of like... <laughs> I'm subbing in for, yeah, sitting in for Matthew Capricasa. I'm your host, for the Valley. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, sitting in, uh, welcome back, Sydney Emanuel, to the show. Yes! Thank you! Sydney oh. was in Italy for two weeks, and I, for one, can't wait to hear all about it some other time. Um, <laughs> You guys heard about these aliens that we have flying over the skies? Yeah. yeah. These aliens. aliens. Huh? They're here. What's they made up it. With that? Sorry. What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> Aliens have land. Well, not really. We just keep shooting them out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> no one seems that interested, though. They like keep telling us. They're like, shot down another one. Everyone's like, okay. It's an octa- what is it, octagonal you know, like aircraft is what they keep calling it. It's like, and then someone was like, is it a balloon? They're like, well, balloon would be the wrong word. <laughs> Object is really, we, we're using it on purpose. It's a metal cylinder that one would call a balloon, not us. <laughs> <laughs> Not us, but one would. Have you ever seen the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still? No. The original. No. Love that the old, movie. The original. The original, yeah. Yeah. The alien comes out and says like, I come in peace and they just fucking kill him and it starts a, <laughs> a world war. Yeah, they shoot him. <laughs> they he shoot comes him. out, he has a, a little translator device. Everyone assumes it's a gun and they shoot him. They shoot him. Yeah. And, and I that think would he never says like- in this country. What does he say? If, if, if this is like trapped in my subconscious. I feel like he says Klatu Barada Nikto or Klatu, something. Klatu Barada Nikto. And uh, people are like, kill him! And then they translate it and it was something <laughs> like, I come in peace. Or something well, no, like Klatu Barada Nikto was the code phrase that he told them to speak to Gort, that would the, the giant robot that would let them pass. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, he had to memorize it in order to repeat it. That's a great it's pretty, movie. It's pretty These fucked up if you think about it, though. If this is some sort of first contact, and we're just like, <laughs> just boom! <laughs> that's not good. That's so us. That's so us. <laughs> <laughs> my, my friend texted, he goes, well, if aliens are trying to invade the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, I so far like our chances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're winning. <laughs> I think we should be proud that we're we're we have such a we're doing a, such a great showing so far in this conflict. Somebody was somebody was up in the ante though, and they were like, "Think about it. If there's another, you know, life form, and they have the technology to make it all the way to our planet, they're not getting shot out of the sky. So they're like, this is on purpose. They if there is aliens, they're doing this on purpose." And it's probably, like you said, Troy, to, to check if we're cool. They're doing a vibe check and we we're failed. not cool. We're not what if they're like, vibe. they're not cool. Destroy the planet. Kill them. Also, while this is happening, we had like the biggest, nuttiest spectacle of sports and entertainment there ever was. And they're yeah. just like, we're just not go there. <laughs> Maybe they just you couldn't know, get just tickets. Just keep going. Pass. <laughs> Either that or they saw Rihanna and they were like, well, we don't need to come here. <laughs> they've got it. They've got entertainment covered. <laughs> Uh, it is well, I just, what, what I don't understand is like, why can't they just like after they blow it up, don't they, they aren't the pieces on the ground? Oh, yeah. Dude, they know everything. So they know everything and they're just saying that. Yeah, because how do they say this just in <laughs> the bodies of several <laughs> tiny green men and all of their uh, technology we've never seen have been found on the shores of Lake Michigan. Because we'd be like, oh. <laughs> Didn't the government, like, not even, like, two years ago, they 
very much came forward and they were like, yes, there are aliens. There are like unidentified like, flying crafts and we have no idea what they are. And the public yeah. was just like, we knew it. It was during the pandemic and everyone yeah. was just like burnt out and they didn't yeah. No care. one cared. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> it's, it's just too much, really. <laughs> Don't care anymore. Uh, but yeah, I have three words for you all. And that is Roswell, New Mexico. Oh. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Wow. Yep. The Matthew Capitacasa hour is taking a turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to get political, but Roswell, New Roswell, Mexico. Roswell, New Mexico. I have three words for you. Uh, it's connected to New York. It's a good movie. That was seven words. <laughs> <laughs> that was a run-on sentence. Uh, that is a good movie, though. It's, uh, it's a, a movie, movie about Schenectady? The late, Synecdoche. no. Synec it's Synecdoche. Called, yeah, it's called Synecdoche. Synecdoche in New York. The late it's a weird Phil movie. Philip Seymour Hoffman, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great is, it it. is it the first Charlie movie Charlie Kaufman. Kaufman directed of his own? Is it mm -hmm. the first so, directorial? Yeah. Yeah. It was like yeah. after Eternal Sunshine, and it was total like indie film. Not a lot of people saw it, mm -hmm. uh, but it was great. It was great. Anyways, you know it's, I, just it's, saw, yeah. I just saw Downsizing, the movie Downsizing. Mm. Uh Sad. The other day it was Matt Damon's in it where it's just like they have the answer to sort of like population boom and climate change is to shrink people down <laughs> to like three inches tall or something. And uh, and, uh, and uh, it was not supposed to be very good. It's like I didn't watch it, but I, I did finally watch the other day. It's a pretty good movie. Really? Is it funny? Yeah. Is it supposed to be funny? Yeah, it is funny. It's the guy, the guy who directed Election and Sideways. Oh. Uh, Alexander Payne. Yeah, Alexander Payne. and the Election. Um. Yeah, it's way better than I thought it would be. And the woman who is in the menu, she plays like the lead uh, oh, server. Cow. Yeah, she's in it and she's amazing. Oscar nominee. Yep. Uh, yeah, really a fun movie. I enjoyed it. Based on a true story too. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. They got, the, they got the, that, they jumped on that IP real fast. Yeah. Joe, you've been suspiciously silent. Are you housing an alien in your house? Because that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> frankly un-american yep <laughs> i don't want to say it you have a constitutional no. right to not have them in your house i i just <laughs> have not seen any of these movies that, that's why i'm quiet i am not familiar with any of them do you so think there's intelligent life in new jersey no in in the <laughs> outside of uh, the uh, the world earth planet earth uh, well absolutely 100 percent. are they coming here to no. take your cheese supplies? No, they are not coming here. <laughs> but maybe we should just offer them that. <laughs> take his <laughs> silo. Take your cheese supplies. Are you aware that that's the real horror story? <laughs> premium cheese products are available in New Jersey. <laughs> I'm glad I pay my taxes so our military can shoot down these cheese stealers before they reach my house in New Jersey. Uh, <laughs> as far as we know, it's the only planet in the universe that has any cheese at all. So it's that's, only that's natural true. that they'd come here to get it. They'd gravitate toward this planet eventually. <laughs> I mean, my <laughs> classics professor in college said that cheese is a, is a sign of civilization. It is. Well, it is yeah. hard to find sharp provolone outside of Philly. So maybe that's <laughs> what true. this was all about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it cut them off on their way to Philly. <laughs> it's bad no matter what. If it's a foreign country that has some sort of technology that we don't know, that's coming and looking at us. This is like the precursor to World War III. If it's an alien that can has mastered interstellar, interstellar travel and we're just shooting them out of the sky, well, that's bad too. It's all bad. Can we agree? Unless it's some nerd who created a drone, which is like, <laughs> and that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for some weirdo loner nerd um, that created a all these weird drones. Could be. No, they're like the size of like multiple school buses and they like fly higher than planes. So what do you think, Kate? China <laughs> or <laughs> aliens? Alpha You're Centauri? on record. It's definitely not aliens. I don't think it's aliens. Wow, firm stance. Wow. I think it's just I, other countries I, seeing what we're doing right now. I don't know, man. I do like mm. that China when we were like all these weird stuff. China's like, yeah. We shot down one too, and everyone's like, "Shut up, <laughs> <laughs> shut up, China!" No, you didn't. Oh, China. All, I can, all I can think of is that prisoner-inspired Simpsons episode where the Homer is escaping, and there, there's like this giant white orb is following them, and then they build a raft out of plastic forks, and someone and he just stabs it, and it pops, yeah. and they <laughs> cut to the control room, and there's like. Why did you think a balloon would stop them? <laughs> Shut up. Shut That's up. why. That's why. 
<laughs> that balloon is terrifying in the original series because oh, for yeah. some reason it's just it's it's so it's it seems so silly but when it comes after you and then you'll see their face like press against the balloon and that's it it's game over yeah Prisoner. it is it's awesome it's a great show it is a horrifying monster in the show <laughs> i love that show yeah i bet you the smoke monster was kind of based on that thing 100 percent. 100 percent. absolutely it's a great show too because no one knows the correct order to, in which to watch the episodes. There's <laughs> right. no like, there's a lot of different thoughts on what the order of the episodes is supposed to be. It's just really a, a fascinating show we've talked about before. Um, but speaking of fascinating shows, let's talk about this one because frankly, it's been fascinating as of late. Uh, last time you scallywags uh, decided to take a trip into the dreamlands. Perhaps... The last trip you will take there. Well, no, you've got to go back to the caravanserai. But the last <laughs> one to who knows where in search of the final gift to give to the mad poet so that you can meet this guy and find out why did Laos come and talk to you? What's going on? Who are you? What's your name? Um, <laughs> and so you take this trip and you get there and all of you are doing the ritual. Suki, nowhere to be found. You're like, you know what? She's probably dead. It's time to move on. So you start walking through this strange alien city. It looks like it was once a great city. Architecture, beautiful, but crumbling. A dead city, a dead city reminiscent of the, of the city that you saw in your dreams in episode one back in LA so many years ago. Here's my question on that. Yeah. What does, the, what does a great, like when, when we see it as a great city, does that mean it has similar architecture and technology to like the great cities of Galarian? Or is it like unknowably futuristically weird? No. Is it like New York City skyscrapers? Like what is this great city? I, think I don't it's think the our, former. our characters wouldn't have any frame of reference for that. So it would just be like, it's strange. Well, no, that, well, know? that's what I'm asking. Is it different at all? When you were at the Viscount's Gala and you looked outside, the, there was it was nothing but opulence as far as the eye can see, but the buildings were weird and there was nothing similar to that uh, that you'd see on Galarian. Here, even though it's in ruins, you can kind of imagine Absalom if you've spent any time there. It's it's It has that sort of feel like, wow, this must have once been a great metropolis and now it's just in ruins. And you see these little creatures peeking at you from out the windows and they come at you and it's a bunch of ghasts which are like super ghouls and they explain that that something happened that wiped out civilization here and one of two things happened you were either if you were a living thing a tree a plant a dog a person you were turned into like this yellow ceramic and frozen in time or you were turned into a ghast um, and so the ones that survived are these gas, and if you know about ghasts, which you started thinking, like, what do we know about gas? You know that they subside on dead flesh. So they've been doing fine. They've been just going into the cemeteries, digging up their loved ones, and eating them because the, the ones that were dead before whatever this plague was, they didn't turn. So it was still fresh, tender flesh for them to eat. And everything was fine until these creatures moved in. These creatures that you realize are womps. And why do you know about womps? Because you're here to find the foot of a womp, this this red toad foot. And so you're like, you know what? We'll take care of it. You were warned in your reading, stay away from necropolises uh, because that's where the womps like to eat. They have the same taste as the gas do, but you're here on a mission. So you start walking in the direction of the nearest cemetery and as you do there's all these like people frozen in time well as you get close something happens where several of them come to life and they're just like <laughs> these constructs coming at you with shields and swords and bows and so a fight ensues and you guys are doing significant damage to them and they just won't go down they have a lot of hit points and really you only have one person in the party that can do consistent uh, mega damage. Well, that person then says, this is an unwinnable fight. We need to just go into there and get those womps. So Ethel runs Give me a foot. Give into me a the foot. cemetery. <laughs> Who could that person be? That was Ethel Merman. <laughs> oh. And Ethel runs into the cemetery 
where he comes upon six of these womps. Half a dozen womps that are feasting. And hear you coming and they just look up at you. They look like these little furry pig fluffy things. They're horrible looking. So now you've got these ceramic guardians behind you and these womps in front of you. If all of you die except one of you and you get the foot, that is a huge success because you camped out in the, uh, you know, the campground of the Stardust Augers. They cured your madnesses. So if you die, you think, hey, maybe they've got another one in, in them. They can cure you again. So no harm, no foul. But if you get wiped out by these enemies and you don't come back with the foot, you're going to visit the Mad Poet with only five gifts instead of six out of a possible seven. There was a light of hope, though, at the end of the episode, because as Ethel was surrounded on all sides by two different kinds of enemies, Suki came running in. She's not dead. She was in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> the dreamland known as Italy. Galarian's greatest explorer. <laughs> <laughs> And so, I'm going to take you back <laughs> you to... She's like, I come bearing great tidings of great joy. And those are pasta and cheese. <laughs> cheese? <laughs> cheese? Cheese? That's a delicacy. Um, let's go back to... You know, imagine we were opening this week on uh, the boat, back on the boat, and you're conducting this ritual. The staircase is being handed to Aldo and it grows in Aldo's hands as as you complete the ritual and Aldo lets the staircase drop to the floor and one by one you begin descending as you've done now several times. Some of you more than others. Suki, you just as the others do walk down. You're not even the last one to walk down. There's still Atticus behind you and Ethel, but you go down and the stairs begin to uh, shorten. They're not as wide as they were when you first start going down and then they keep getting um, you know, thinner and thinner and thinner and the wood starts becoming gnarled until you find yourself in a tree, it appears. You look behind you, and there are no longer any steps. Maybe a part of the branch that you're standing on has a, a sort of beveled look to it, but the stairs are gone, and you don't see any of your companions. You're up in this tree, maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 feet in the air, and it's a beautiful day. It's actually not a, a ton of trees in the area. This is certainly the biggest one. Um, and there doesn't seem to be anyone around until you look down. And you see, at first it almost looks like a pile of something laying on the ground pretty much directly under you. But then as your eyes take it in, you realize that it's the broken body of a child. Yeah. And suddenly you know where you are. What do you uh, do? Suki has like had this dream so many times and it always starts off the same way. It's like a beautiful day. Nothing's wrong. She doesn't really know where she is. And then she looks down, and it's the same thing. She sees this tiny little uh, elven girl. And Suki starts hyperventilating. And uh, like in a dream, like the distance gets all like messed up. Like she wants to get down from the tree but all of a sudden it's like way higher than it was and she doesn't know how to get down uh, and she starts like losing her grip on the tree um, 
and she's she's trying to get down, but she she doesn't want to get down, um, and she starts crying like a like a kid, like a baby, um, and you hear if anyone is there, you know, in this dream with her or anything, you just hear her crying and calling out. Um, and she says, Silly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Celia, please. Why are you doing this to me? And she's just like, maybe she falls from the tree. Maybe she is able to get down. Um, and it is Celia, but it's not. It's like worse than she remembers. It's like more grotesque. Um, and she doesn't want to be near the body at all. Like she just tries to get away from it. This is a nightmare for her. And she, she hasn't had it in a very long time. And like nightmares, the further you try to go away from it, the more it's on your heels. And so you get down there, maybe the, the bow of the tree is like bending towards it warping towards the body like pulling you in like a vortex and you're just trying to avoid it avoid it maybe like running crouching tiger hidden dragon style up the tree branch away from it but you're pulled you're pulled to the ground and then you're on the ground and you're just running away from it and you don't want to look back but you hear footsteps running towards you and then a voice that says um why you were supposed to protect me. Ah, oh. uh, that's so messed up. <laughs> she's yeah, she's crying like like if yeah. if they were on the shore right now with the the healers and everything. I, Suki is like twitching, you know, like like when you're having a nightmare, like trying to scream, trying to yeah, eyes rolling back in the head, sweating, trying to wake up, running in her sleep, uh, and she's just saying, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was an accident." It was an accident, please. And just like tr trying to get out of this nightmare. Even wants to wake up. Forget the mission. Like, this is the worst thing ever. Why? And then the why starts to sound like it's underwater. It's like, and you're like, you're distorted by that sound as well. And then you realize like you're underwater and someone's like pushing down on your head and you look up and the sunlight is showing the face of Nyrel Twiceborn, like uh. drowning you in the water and shouting some paeans uh, to the sky. And you still hear that, and just as the lights go out, you wake up on the ground of this alien city. Next to you, is a small flower laying on the ground, just sprouting. And it's completely made out of yellow ceramic. Uh, um, Suki immediately like gets up, freaked out, doesn't know if she's in the dreamlands or not in the dreamlands, if she woke up or not. Um, and starts just looking around, trying to figure out if she's dreaming or where anybody is. You get up, and you get up so hastily that the flower breaks. This tiny little flower breaks right at the stem, and you just stare at it for a moment. And then you hear sounds of a battle to the east. And you look in the distance, and you see several different people locked in combat yeah she she looks at the broken flower and looks at everyone knowing that that's probably where they are um hearing them scream and yell and uh she almost wants to like pick the flower up she's in this weird head she wants to like save this flower um but she doesn't she can't she has to leave it and uh yeah she starts running towards um, the noises, and she looks so disheveled, just actually like sweating, really actually sweating in this world that she's in and probably back on shore as well. Just takes off, and we just close in on that lone, broken flower. And then 
We come back to Ethel, seeing these womps all pick up their beady little heads, sensing your presence. And it is Atticus's turn. Oh, no. (laughs) I didn't know that was going to (laughs) happen. Oh, no. Ethel! (laughs) <laughs> Ethel, no! Ethel, no! It's the first situation. action saying, shouting Ethel. Second action, <laughs> Ethel, no. No! Yeah, Ethel, Ethel, no. It's a very unique situation. Like, I, I said at the end of last week, this is an unwinnable fight. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's winnable, but you don't have to win it. Yeah, you just a stand-up fight, it is unwinnable. <laughs> I, I basically, yeah. it is Atticus alone now, since Ethel took off into the cemetery, as essentially the front-line tank against mm-hmm. three monstrous constructs that uh, can take a shit ton of damage and not go down. So, uh, first action, he is going to step back, and then he is going to use his focus power for invisibility cloak and vanish out of sight. Oh, oh great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it. He's left us you one by Ethel. one. We are being you betrayed by our comrades. In this, uh, our yeah, hour I meeting. have been going over this and over this and over this, and I just, there's, that is the best. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so, option right now. So you take a step back, and then it's activating that cloak two actions? Yeah, it is like casting invisibility, basically. Okay. Uh, it is Ceramic Guardian 1's turn. Um, this is the one, actually, that you just moved from. Um, so, he doesn't see you and just moves towards Eris. I assume you don't strike out at it. I, yeah. I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Both uh, of us can't. So then it, uh, takes a swing at Eris with its longsword. There's a 31 to hit. Yeah, that Oof. hits. Oh, oh dear. God. Okay. Uh, 16 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then he raises his shield. Actually, you know what? I think is that I'm I'm sorry. He doesn't raise his shield because Matthew shattered his shield. Um, so he uh, will just take another Noice. swing. Yeah, and a natural <laughs> two. Uh, no, that's a miss. Um, now it is the top of a new round, and we're adding six more combatants into the fight. Great. But first. It is Ceramic Guardian 4's turn, and he's the one uh, that is standing uh, closest to Ethel. So he sees Ethel run, and of course, he gives chase to Ethel, sliding right next to the poppet. What was the poppet's name again? Egg. Egg. (laughs) How about Mary Poppet? Um, All right, so he slides right next to Egg and steps on Egg. No, we'll swing a long sword at Ethel. That is a 29 to hit. That hits. Remember, these guys have, especially on their first attack, it it, it always comes in hot. All right, that's going to be 15 points of slashing damage. Uh, And then swings again with a 19. That misses. That misses. Oh, and that means his shield is down. Poop. The shield is down. Shield is down. (laughs) You may start your landing. (laughs) Direct all fire on that Superstar Destroyer! <laughs> okay, and now it is Womp 3's turn. Five, ten, <laughs> He just walks right up to Ethel. <laughs> Hi! Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, funny story, but I need your foot. Ah. <laughs> so, how would you describe this? Like, they're pi- there's pig. a spider look to them, but also a pig snout. And all of their feet are look like like chicken feet, not chicken feet, but like they're webbed like duck feet or frog. Like what are those? Yeah. Like they have, yeah. Oh, God. Kind of cute. Are they? Yeah. Right. It is kind of cute. It's little like they're wearing snout. little shoes. Is it? Am I correct me if I'm wrong? But I don't see eyes on this particular image. Uh yeah, you do not see eyes. Um, they don't need them. 
<laughs> Where we're going, we don't need eyes. Where we're going, we don't need eyes. We need eyes. All right, so he, he slides up to you, and then uh, with his remaining two actions, he's going to do something known as Claw Flurry, which is three strikes with his claw, and the multiple attack penalty doesn't apply. Oh my god. So, until after these strikes. All right, so the first one is a 20. Miss. Miss, right? And then a 21. Miss. Wow. And then a 30. 30 hits. Okay. So, I can't believe they don't have a multiple attack penalty. I know. Yeah, that, this that's not claw flurry fair. takes two actions, and the multiple attack penalty doesn't increase until after the three strikes. Uh, so it's going to be 13 points of slashing damage. Ouch. <laughs> Help. <laughs> uh, Help. Hey, guys. I uh, might have made a mistake here. <laughs> <laughs> it is Eris's turn. I don't know. This could be a very short episode. Yes. I just hate how I always forget how to play my character. You don't hit me with slashing damage often, but I don't think it, I'd imagine these statues have pretty high fortitude, so I don't think I missed a lot. Cause you know, when you slash me, I've got the gaping flesh ancestry feet. So it's like, it like yawns open. Oh, gross. Uh, Everything's gross about you. <laughs> Thanks so much. It um, yawned. Oh. <laughs> now remember, um, it's been it's been it's been a little bit. These guys are weak to bludgeoning. Yeah. So uh, somebody was doing a lot of bludgeoning damage, and you get that extra. Yeah, that was Ethel. A damn zoning. Did Skin have a bomb though that did bludgeoning damage? I feel like maybe I'm misremembering, but no. something to keep in mind if you have bludgeoning. You do know that. <laughs> oh wait! No, Eris actually, and I were both trying to. Uh, well, I was trying to telekinetic projectile, and Eris was trying to chicken poon uh, <laughs> a stone. <laughs> Tail is all yeah. this time. Well, I've got yeah. one other thing on my person that does bludgeoning damage, and believe it or not, it's my hair. Um, <laughs> oh, excellent! <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, Who said unwinnable? Before I do that. I'm gonna cast mirror image on myself. Two Careful. actions. So there's three of me. That that provokes. Will it does. Provoke, and they have AOOs. Um, you have seen that they do have AOOs. So if you don't step first. Okay. Um, and you could step off the map. Anything with a verbal component will provoke. No. no. If it's just if it, verbal. If it's only okay. verbal, you're fine. Well, in that case, I'm gonna cast shield on myself as a little bit take a five foot step back, even though there's no space on the map. You fall off the cliff into <laughs> oblivion. Fall out into oblivion. <laughs> so and is shield then, just verbal? Yeah, it's uh, verbal and I get plus one circumstance to AC and it's, it's got like a hardness till my next turn. Great. Hopefully that'll help. Um, five foot step back and then instantly my hair just like whips out and just whap, 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 whap. <laughs> Bludgeoning damage. Uh, hold on. So whap, whap, one, whap, whap. one d four. Whap whap whap. Do you have to attack? I'm assuming there's attack roll on this guy. It's probably your spell attack. If, oh well, no. Is this? What is it's this? Unarmed attack. Unarmed attack. Okay. Okay. So that and means it's got I gotta, reach because you have long hair. Mm-hmm. So that means and you don't I care. Have, I have to roll. Are you asking us? Yeah. Yes. I yes. don't hit things. I'm a witch. I don't know how to play <laughs> this This is game. why it's a bad plan. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do it. <laughs> um, Says Suki as she rolls up. Why don't you just roll a d20 first and say what number's on the I, d20. I did. <laughs> and what? What? it's a no, six. Just <laughs> Unarmed oh. attack can be impossible to find on some character sheets if you're a caster. I was checking because I know I cast guidance last episode, so I was checking what that is. Um, it's a, it's a, oh no, it's a nine. Oh. On that. the dice. On the dice. Oh. Well, then we have to get the number. <laughs> yeah, Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the hair just, it just limply falls a couple feet in front of you. Um, and you'll, you question your choice of shampoo. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, so I mean, yeah, that could be a hit. That could be a hit. It no, I, probably not. These things probably were in the not. 22, 23 range minimum, right? Weren't they? Yeah. yeah. I thought. Mid-20s. Yeah. Mid-20s. Yeah. Mid I, so I, a nine on the die, I would imagine a witch's unarmed is not going to be 
I, high enough. It, it's possible. It could be, but it could um, be. I think it's it's a classic tween. It's it a classic tween. Well, nine <laughs> usually is. I'm trained in unarmed attacks. Okay. Okay. Right, so you're getting that proficiency bone. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Where would it be? Would it be in the spell? Would it be I in have a different, um, like, oh, you're using, sheet than all of you guys? Oh, gotcha. Mm. Do you have any weapons on you? Yeah, I've got a kukri. Oh, kukri. What's, the, what's your bonus on the kukri? Hit plus three. Oh. That can't so be right a, either. I don't know. <sighs> we gotta look at that sheet. Yeah. The Kukri is probably a plus 11 or plus 12 to hit. Well. If it says plus three, it's very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now, it probably doesn't matter for you because I don't think you've used your Kukri uh, all that much, but it should be much, much higher, um, even though you're not like a martial character. My are you trained in martial weapon? Do you have martial weapon proficiency? No. no. Tr trained in martial weapons? Kukri is a martial weapon. Untrained in martial weapons. Trained yeah, in simple so weapons. On Hero so, Lab, I have, like, a, I just have my fist as list, automatically listed as a weapon. Do you have that? You don't have fist? No. <laughs> I don't have I, Hero Lab. I think you earned a miss for not being prepared. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> so I cool. Yeah. Yeah, like we're gonna, we're gonna look into 2E this. Like 2E is really great, but then also whenever I try to like play with it, I'm like, I don't know where anything is. Yeah. I don't know why. I think I know where it is and then I play with it. <laughs> Scared them. Uh, you know, I forgot to do it. Suki, uh, roll initiative. I'm gonna oh, roll sure. you into initiative here. Roll soup high. Super uh, high. Perceptione, right? Yes. Cause I'd be running up looking. Um, mm -hmm. Roll running. Give me a running check. 25 for uh, an ish. 25 a ish. Great. I did not skip your turn. Oh, I have there. a plus 13 to hit. Plus 13 to hit? Yeah. That sounds reasonable. That's a That's, natural nine. That sounds better. It's it, is still, it is still a miss. Um, does he have a shield? Uh, yeah, he does. Uh, actually, that guy doesn't have his shield, but. Yeah, no, that's a mess. The shield, that's even higher. I'm sorry. It was it was the right idea, because if you rolled, you weren't that far off with a nine. Matthew was, was, wasn't was that far off when he said tweener. Uh, sorry, had but you did, you add, did you add your guidance? It would have just been a plus one. Right, so if 23? If I choose to add it, so it would be 23. 23, yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, just, you just missed. Still a mess, okay. Um, all right, let's 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 get over to uh, my womps right after a, a, a quick little break here. There are too many womps. Uh, <laughs> and that break wasn't long enough. Um, <laughs> Troy, I just want to say, I think I speak for all of us and the listeners. If you wanted to remove a womp or two from the combat, no one no yeah. one would hold it against like you. No one would be angry. You. If it tripped and fell into an open grave and broke <laughs> all six of its legs and it was like, ah, oh, that one's dead. Just, cause it's it's just to make your life easier. Yeah. Yes. That's all we're really concerned about. <laughs> Troy, we're allowing. just thinking of you. And I appreciate it. I wouldn't it. tell anyone. I wouldn't tell any of the listeners. You could just cut this out and just make one die. Yeah. You guys are so you guys are so cool. <laughs> uh, it has to move twice to get up to Ethel. Uh, and so then it only has one attack, which will be its jaws. Dun, 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 34 to hit. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Uh, Gods so and goddesses. Stupid. That was a, a natty 19. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. Yes, that hits. Not a crit, right? Uh, no, not a crit. All right. A couple things are going to happen, though, unfortunately. First, you're going to take 18 points of piercing damage. Oh, I mean, you, you have to be close. Right. And then you have to roll a fortitude save. Okay. Because 
Eating dead people leaves your mouth pretty diseased. <laughs> you don't hear that enough. That if you eat guy. dead flesh, oh, this is corpse rot. Oh yeah. Oh no, Matthew, you didn't. Hero He's point. probably got a plus fifty to. I, I could use a hero point because it was a natural one, but I yes. am I going to need that hero point later to make an attack hit because uh, we only really have one shot at this. All right, that I'll is use, a good because if it's disease, you know, who, I'm going to wake up soon. It's a good with point, the, Matthew. With a brain disease. I'm not using the hero point. Lay it on me. Critical failure. Critical failure will put you right to stage two uh, of grave rot. <laughs> oh, no. You are sickened two. Sickened two. Great. Which will directly impact your My ability with to hit. God damn it. <laughs> I mean... So gross. This thing just chowing <laughs> just, on corpses and it's it's rotten mouth just <laughs> right on your flesh and now it's in you. It's in you. You know you're going to die. That feeling, even though you know it's a dream, has to be terrifying. Oh, it doesn't feel like a dream when it's in me and the, the oh. jaw the mandible has closed on my arm. Oh, yeah, this gosh. is worse than any dream ever, because it feels for all intents and purposes it's real. It feels real. Aldo, can you save this this group from certain demise? No. Uh, <laughs> no. No. So I have I'm facing off against one of these porcelain things. So is that does it have acid on it? Uh, it has fire. It had acid, and the acid uh, it it was able to get rid of, but it still has the persistent fire. Okay. Then I am going. Aldo is going to throw a an acid flask uh, at its at its feet. I fudge. Uh, that is going to be twenty two to hit. Twenty two misses. Let me ask you this: Do you need to step, take a step to not provoke, or do you not provoke with your? Uh, do you have an ability that? Oh, uh, I th think I do provoke. So I'm never worried about it because we never run anything with. Attacks of right. uh, but uh, yeah, I'll take a step back, throw it, okay. and miss. But that will give it four points of acid splash damage. Okay. Oh boy. And I'll just throw another one, and miss again. Uh, four more points of acid damage. Okay. And then uh, I roll a flat check, DC 15, made it with a 16. Um, but do I still take the damage one more time? No, that should be it. That's it. Okay. All right. Um, you roll the flat check at the end of your turn. Oh, the end of yeah. my turn. All right. So yeah, yeah so that's you right. take the damage. That's yeah, right. right. Okay. At the yep, start at right. the end of your turn, then you you're roll. Right. The flat I don't check. know why I did that. All right. So give me that persistent fire. Uh, pursed fire. No, you, uh, you take that damage on your turn. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. just keep going. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> too many. Too many creatures. Uh, all right. God, Saram. I gotta do two ceramic guardians and two womps in a row before Suki's turn. All right, so ceramic guardian two here is, good Lord, this is bad. How far can he move? All right. <laughs> Are they friends? <laughs> Are the womps and ceramic guardians friends? Excellent. No. Or should no. they start attacking each other? Come on. It's possible. Uh, let me get back to you. Uh, this <laughs> one, as I as I am with two womps and one ceramic guardian, can I um, fan the flames of their rivalry? <laughs> yeah. What do you say? He was talking shit on your mom. He was shit about your mom and your sister. <laughs> he said she. He said her her feet were blue. <laughs> All right, this guy rolls up on Eris and swings for a twenty-one to hit. Miss. That's a yes. miss. Yes. 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 It's a miss, nice. and then he's going to raise his shield, and then Ceramic Guardian <coughs> number three is the one that is uh, on fire. Uh, he is going to. Sl oh, you know what he's going to do? He's going to slide up to Suki. Hey, where'd you come from? Son of a Immediately take her out of the combat. Immediately Great. take her out. Great. That is Welcome. a twenty-seven to hit Suki. Yeah. Twenty-seven to hit Suki. Oh no. Oh no. 
20 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Okay. And then a second attack. Oh, no, then he'll raise a shield. Um, so he moved, attack, raise shield. Now I'll, I'll reroll the flat check because it was my fault for doing it wrong. Well, first and, he takes the persistent. Well, I yeah. failed the flat check, so give me the persistent. Okay, two points. You take of- the persistent anyway. Then you roll the flat check. Yeah. Right. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. let's go to WAP. Let's see what's behind WAP number one. <laughs> Uh, all right, this guy's very far away. This is the northernmost Womp. Um, womp of the North! The Womp, womp of the, of the North! north. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> all the other Womps kneel. <laughs> hey, take wait, there's an extra Womp on the board. You gotta take that off. There's only two. What? There's three Womps on the board. There's six There's a lot Womps more than three. Board. Yeah, there's oh. six. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take that off. Hey, too many. <laughs> Take that off. Chop, Try get those womps up. out of here. I didn't you messed ask up. that. There's too many enemies. Too many womps. Too, too many, many womps. womps. <laughs> All right. Uh, this womp, one will come womp. up and also try to take a bite. Natural 20. Oh. Uh, well, here's the good news. You, the, the second stage of Grave Rot lasts for eight weeks. So it can't get any worse. Well, it can put me down with the damage. Yes, the damage may put you down. And then we won't get the foot. Like, you have a hero. You have a hero point. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter doesn't at matter. this point. I need more D8s. Oh, there's an eight on one of them. And a six of four. Oh my god. All right, so this is it. It's 40 points of damage. Man, I'm not kidding you when I tell you that I had 39 hit points. Oh, <laughs> oh no, my no. god. Oh, man. All so did we just do. see you like run into here and then just immediately get cut down by six these things? Six seconds later. <laughs> in six seconds, three womps pounce on me, bite me, <laughs> whack me with their with their weird duck feet, whatever else there is, and I go down. All right, so <laughs> Ethel, Ethel crumbles pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> All you I need to do, I was hasted. All I needed to do is have maybe have one round, one great <laughs> round, and I could have like just hugged their body and woken up. Yep. A natural twenty. I mean, a regular hit, you'd still be up, but then the double damage is just, it's just horrible. Uh, I could have healed myself. All kinds of things. Well, you know what? You could still somebody could still raise you. You know, they know your significance to the fight. They could try and like wake you up, but it's just such a bad situation. You want those womps to scatter. And then I can uh, pick up my weapons and stand up and provoke and then yeah. die again. <laughs> no, no, no. They'll wake you up and it'll be 45 minutes before you can even sit up or grab a weapon and five creatures around you will attack you again it's before fair. you get to go again. Horrible situation. Horrible. All right. And Where's that, last, that womp going? That womp what are you just, doing with that womp? <laughs> the one, the, the southernmost womp, uh, the Florida womp, uh, he moved, he took three move actions, and now he's pretty much right where, uh, about 15 feet away from Atticus. But the good news is it's Suki's turn, and you have an undefeatable guardian in front of you. The bad news is I forgot I also have a plus two to my initiative, so things could have been, could have been different, and Matthew, I'm sorry. Um, I realized too late. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've looked at my character sheet. I apologize, but- They don't have initiative in Italy. They oh, don't that's have the Italian job. <laughs> they call us something totally different. They call us um, initiative. 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 Would you guys be impressed if I came back and just spoke fluent Italian? Would that I'm impress disappointed you? that you don't. I yeah. I half expected you would. I did my best. Uh, scusi. Initiative. Scusi. Per due. The one that goes a second. Excuse me. For two. And that's how I asked to be seated at restaurants. Scusi. That's per amazing. Due. Great. And, what are you uh, saying you're not fluent? Use that anytime you want. That's, and spaghetti. You can say that, too. Oh, man. Um, Is that right. Sophia Loren over there? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Suki just ran in. Uh, she's, like, her braid is all, like, disheveled and, like, her hair's out of place. Normally, she looks a little more put together, and she is profusely sweating through her white tunic. Uh, but she just comes in at the exact moment that Ethel gets surrounded and goes down. Uh, and she almost instinctively, coming out of this like memory dream nightmare that she always has, throws her hand out, uh, and she is going to put up a ring of fire around Ethel 
that is a five foot thick, 10 foot uh, radius ring. So it will perfectly hit all the enemies around Ethel except Ethel cool. and block the entrance to the graveyard. Oh, but Joe doesn't want me to do this. And Joe's it, like, don't forget you provoke. Uh, anything, is that a spell? It's a spell, but anything I do right now is going to provoke. If I change, you can, also you can take step five. away and cast it unless you need that third action for I need, something. And you're, I need the third action. All right, I well, think maybe. it interrupts the spell, or do you still get to cast the spell? You just take the damage. Um, sorry, situation. I was working on the ring, trying to perfectly. I put thought it I would around. just take damage, but if that's not the case, maybe I won't do it. Um, you hit egg too. Yeah, I was gonna say if it hits egg, egg uh, immediately becomes like a mist and comes back to me. Oh, oh, so that's oh, okay. That's not that bad. As a reaction, yeah. Okay. I don't have uh, to do this. I could try doing something else. I just well, let's make sure that you actually lose the spell. I, for some reason, that sounds right to me, and I just was reading it about reading about it today, and I cannot. Let me try. I just cannot remember. If your strike is a critical hit, and the trigger was a manipulate action, you disrupt that action. That's so it, it only is. disrupts it if it's a crit. So you want to roll the dice, as it were? Uh, Quite literally. Um. Yeah, because if I put this ring down, it does hit uh, the three Womps and the Guardian, correct? Uh, yeah, what is it? Five, five feet around it? Ten foot radius, five oh, feet ten foot thick. radius. Yeah, and actually, as these Womps are sort of bottlenecking through this entrance to the graveyard, they may come in and there could be a bit of a, a, a dog pile there, depending on how long this sits there. So it's a smart move, unless he crits you. I will take the risk. You just crit, and maybe you won't do it again. So. Okay. I want to go on record and say, I hope that I don't. <laughs> Here we go. This is why we play the game. All right. It's, uh, it's what Matthew Kavnikazic would call a tweener. It's going to be a... 32 to hit. <laughs> 32 to hit. 47. Uh, this is going to be... Make sure I get it right. A 30 to hit. It's not a tweener. Of course that, that hits. It's not a tweener. <laughs> right, I'm a but druid. did it crit? Oh, no. Oh. Then, then you're, you'll live crit forever. Crit tweener. You gotta, you gotta crit tweener. Yeah. explain crit tweener. A creener. <laughs> creener. A creener. 19 points of slashing damage. I'll take it. But you get off your ring of fire which just burns Ethel's body alive. No, no Ethel's safe, doesn't right? hit Ethel. Make that um, ring bigger. It doesn't hit, make it bigger. And not I, on I can't, Ethel. that's as big as it goes. Oh, well, All right, never mind. You can always make it bigger. <laughs> Sorry, that's as big as, there it is, perfect. There. Even bigger, it's on all the creatures. I want to make sure. <laughs> There's only two bigger. sizes on our virtual tabletop. Uh, how about, <laughs> there, too. perfect. You like that? The there worst. it is. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty crazy. Egg is conveniently outside the ring at this size. So I mean, I egg is so looks like it. Egg is so tiny. I bet they can squeeze. I bet they uh, they are don't tiny. take up the entire space. What there are we go. Doing? Oh, hey. nice. oh god. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Uh, all right. So, do I have to roll anything or no? I'm in that radius. I just take the damage. Yep. So you are gonna take. Da 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 da. Four d six. So let me roll that. Ooh. Oh, 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 come on, Max, that shit! And I'm at dying two because you hit me on a crit, right? To, oh, I did. As right. a matter of fact, I did. Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out if there is actually a chance, or uh, I should just, if I wake up, just roll myself into the ring of fire. <laughs> I rolled in between 15 points fire damage. 15 points of it's fire not damage. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, so That's good against four, well, five targets. Yeah. Keep, keep them there. One of whom is an ally. <laughs> One of whom is an ally. <laughs> How many hit points does all egg An have? ambassador, no less. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She looks like she just came out of that ring of fire. No, egg, egg, uh, Kate said that egg immediately turns to dust and reappears at her side. Great. Yes. No, it doesn't reappear at my side, but he, they, I don't know what their gender is. <laughs> it's a, doll immediately <laughs> turns to um sorry i was looking something else up when you said this they immediately turn into a femoral version of the shelf safe shaped of mist gains resistance 11 to all damage um, oh so it's momentarily um i'm gonna have to like move it okay. out 
of the range, which will use like two of my action. <laughs> Sorry. Not gonna lie, not too worried about egg at the moment here. I think. <laughs> I think Suki truly did not see egg when she cast this spell, and that's yeah. also Sydney is, didn't see egg. I didn't egg is know very small. egg was there. Yeah. Also, you haven't been here, so you didn't know that egg. Right. Very it would make valiantly. perfect sense that Suki ran in, yeah. saw this horror, cast Ooh. the fire, and never noticed the doll. Or also. Was You'd think it maybe it's one of them. It's just like, exactly. oh, there's all it these looks, monsters and this creepy, weird, animated it. doll. That's You've true. never seen it move on its own before. That's very true. It's only like been on your shoulder or something. Yeah. This I is really truly a nightmare. She cast the ring of fire on Egg. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> uh, here's, I, I really like this move, um, you know, from a game perspective. because It's Womp number five's turn, right? And so this isn't an unintelligent creature. Um, however, I think it's going to come right up next to the flame and it's going to take that damage. As you said, it's 10 feet from the center, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so give me a 4d6. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 20. Points of fire damage. Yo! Ooh, nice. All right, so that was uh, two actions to move up to there, and then I'm going to move back. Because mm. it's like, ooh, fire hot. No like fire, it says in its pig voice. And then it is Ethel's turn. No, Ethel, you moved I in the moved initiative order. To right uh, before the womp that failed me. Do you remember which womp that was? I think it was womp It was one. the womp in the north. <laughs> the womp, it was the womp, womp in the, the womp in the north. The womp all right. Of course, um, the Womp of the North crit. It's a hero. It's a hero Womp. It's a hero. And now he's a named character. <laughs> yes. We really should have pulled a fan critical. He is named. He is land, lands in title. <laughs> really, really shot ourselves in the foot with that one. Just because he's the 27th of his name doesn't mean he has, doesn't have a name. All right. So this is interesting here. Um... I re think about this. From, I'm, I'm trying to play this in the way the characters would play it. You've created this fire barrier around Ethel, but it's also made it... I don't know how long the Ring of Fire lasts. Not my business. But these other Womps now can't get through, and there's one Womp left. So there might be a way you can pull this off were it not for the three Ceramic Guardians. I, you're, there's a chance here. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, it is Atticus's turn. Atticus, you are right next to one of these ceramic guardians. There is one wand. You just need one foot. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's unless you have some crazy spell, it's three actions to fucking saw off the foot of a dead wand. Oh, off a dead wand. You can, if you want to do it for a live wand, it's six Pull eggs. a foot <laughs> off of a live wand. That's really I, mean, I, had, I had a hatchet. I was just going to get... Was there any chance I could just hack at a live foot and just try to take it out? Yeah, I feel like it's <clears throat> really, I don't know, I guess maybe it's one good action. When we, let's, when we get to it, I'll tell you how many actions. All right. <laughs> Depends on the character. Have you not Have you not butchered a chicken, Troy? I haven't, and I have always wanted to. <laughs> That's one of the problems with TikTok. I, I don't spend a ton of time on there. Sometimes I'll be scrolling, and it's just animals getting butchered. And I'm like, oh, I want to see this. I have this kid in my algorithm. And then I finish masturbating and go about my day. <laughs> You've just answered your own question. <laughs> Joe, it's your turn. Uh, You've had 45 minutes. I, ha I have to delay. <laughs> I really do. If I do a, a point of damage. You can't make this up. I'm telling you. If I do a <laughs> point of damage... I yeah. will be dead that round and will not be able to grab the foot and get out of there invisible. You don't want to move, though? I want to delay because it gives me more freedom to, to do something any together. time during yeah, yeah, the next yeah. round. No, if sense. I move and then just like start thinking of other things, I can't go again until, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, delay. Everybody is going to have to pour their damage on this thing, but I'm telling you, like, all I can think is five out of seven ain't bad. That's so what Meatloaf I have said... Now, it's not the worst Hanukkah ever. It's just a little disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> we just do not, without Ethel, Aldo is really the damage dealer. You know, the like single target damage dealer. Uh, and if we can get, and that one has taken no damage. So it's just tough. If, we, if everybody turns their attention to that thing, it's possible. But without Ethel, it's, it's a long shot. All right, so you're gonna delay. You let me know when you're, when you I'm, want, I'm if and delay. when you want to do something. Uh, it is the Guardian right to the north of you's turn, and he's going to slide up on Aldo, first action, 
Uh, second action, he is going to take a swing at Aldo. Uh, a 33 to hit. Yes, actually, yeah, that is a crit. Oh, oh no. Uh, that is that is a crit, yes. It is. Okay. Uh, 11, 19. 38 points of slashing oh, damage. God. It just... <laughs> And then, like, the shield comes up. Um, and then it is the final Womp's turn who's going to do the same thing that uh, that other Womp did. It's going to run right up to it. Give me the 4d6 damage. Uh, yep. Fourteen points of damage. Okay, fourteen points of damage, and then with its final action, it's going to also back off. It does not see uh, a way through here at the moment, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this out. It's the top of a new round. I believe it's round four, and it is oddly enough, Ceramic Guardian Four's turn. And this is the one that is, uh, oh, this is the one that's in the Ring of Fire. Oh, so it starts its turn in the Ring of Fire. You're going to take four more. Really? Yeah. What, what is this? Is this actually called Ring of Fire? Uh, wall or, uh, it's called Wall of Fire, but it's, wall I made it into a ring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes for a better right. lyric. Yeah, some might say. <laughs> I stood there in a wall of fire. By a burning wall of fire. 18 points of fire damage. It went down, down, down. All right, 18 points of fire damage. It does not care for that. Uh, it is going to step out of the ring of fire. Does it take more damage as it's moving? Um, Let me check the wording. Uh, any creature that crosses the wall or is occupying the wall's area at the start of its turn. So no, I don't think it would take it twice because it took it's, the damage and moved out. I don't think it's like one e where like if you're on the if you're on the one side of it, you take some damage. And... Yeah, I would say it was in it and now it's out of it. So how do walls work? All right. So <laughs> it, the, so if hmm, Everything it's weird. On... The way this spell reads, it sounds like. Any creature that crosses the wall or is occupying the wall's area at the start of its turn takes 4d6 damage. Never should have taken that first damage, from my reading of it. That's oh. my reading of it as well. But then, Joe, doesn't it seem like you could just walk through it as long yes. as you don't start your turn in it? Well, you always could in a wall of fire. Yeah, but you what? take crazy damage when you walk through the... F no, any creature yeah. that crosses the wall. Crosses the wall. So if you walk through it, you ah. take 4d6 damage. Oh, wait, but you shouldn't have taken the damage? Not no, when you it cast it. it at the start of its turn. If it's Which, in the wall. Yeah, so when it comes back it. around to them, they've already taken that damage. Okay, okay, okay. Um, ah. So Egg yeah, that is still alive. Egg yet For lives. Now. Okay, my bad. I assumed it was... Sorry, I read that wrong. Okay. Yeah, I just noticed that line when I when I read it. Um, okay. All right, but the Ceramic Guardian then... Doesn't he take already that. took damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll give myself that 14 back. He's going to walk out of it. And, uh, Jeepers, with Ethel down. Attack the Womp. <laughs> Ooh, the Womp's right there. <laughs> All right, he's going to swing at the Womp. I heard the, <laughs> I heard the Womp started this fire. Oh, you know what? I think I just crit the Womp. <laughs> uh, thir 35, he crits the Womp. Oh, my God. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. The womp. Yeah, I mean, they don't know. They, honestly, they wouldn't know based on the backstory of why they are the way they are. Uh, so, uh, 17, so 34. This is the key. 34 points of damage. Amazing. Wow. Okay. Uh, Great. And Big then, turn. And then it'll swing again. Uh, and that's a 30, not a crit, um, but a hit. <laughs> Dude, that's, a, that's more damage than Ethel could do. <laughs> shut up. You shut <laughs> up. I valiantly gave my life to grave rot and other things. To start this uh, uh, construct war. All right, that's <laughs> 12 points of damage on that hit. All right, now it's Womp number three's turn. So Womp number three is the one that's right in front of Ethel. So this is where he would take that damage. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to have him back off as well. Nice. Um, Huge. Yeah, they don't like this. They don't like this. Uh, and then it's Eris's turn. All right. <laughs> so I've been furiously trying to read about familiars in combat to see if I really need to like focus on it to have him move. And I'm pretty sure that like, yeah, I need to command 
the poppet to move out of the fire. Which would like, I mean, what I could do, spend an action to give Egg two actions. So I could have Egg move out the fire towards the Wom and then do something. Ooh. That could be fun. Uh, how many hit points does Egg have? Because right now is when it takes its 15 points of damage. So is Egg still okay? Um, well, only taking four points of damage. But he's susceptible to fire. Mm. Oh. <laughs> he, he, he is a fabric it. doll. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gains weakness to fire equal to my level, which <gasps> is eight. Oh. So that's eight more points of damage. Oh, no. Oh, my cool. God. Did so then just... that's... Um, how many points of damage? 12. 12. Four plus eight, 12? 12. 12, yeah. Okay, they have 30 points of oh. hit points. Okay. So they can move out of the fire. Or yeah, 40. You can... That's a lot of hit points. Let me just remove that. Twelve. Well, this is the tricky thing, right? Because if you just leave the poppet there to to perish, you save your actions. Yeah, and I'm also trying to wonder, like, do I know if my poppet dies in the dream world? Does my poppet die in real life? Do I have to like make another one? I'm still unclear if this poppet is a living, breathing creature. It's not living, but it does have a mind. It does have a mind, and it walks. But yeah, I mean, I think there's a real. I command it. I think there's a real conflict there. You, you don't know. It has a soul. I think you said it had a soul. Well, that was like flavor soul, you know. Well, it was fun. <laughs> um, she said, "I and I quote, it has a soul, but it's not alive." <laughs> <laughs> and Troy was like, "Somehow that's worse." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you've seen everybody else die, and they come back with crazy. Maybe. Uh, old Egg will come back with cognitive dissonance, or maybe it won't, and you'll have to make Egg too. I'll the have to Agony. Make another one to get another soul or mind or whatever, however any of this works. All right. What does telekinet telekinet projectiles two? Just throw it's Egg. Somatic, <laughs> right? You yeah. yeah. actually um, could do that. <laughs> mind throw Egg across to safety. Yeah. I could. But then I'm wasting all of this stuff. I want to try to telekinetic projectile something to try to chop off one of the Whoa. guys in the middle uh, feet. The womp in the middle there. The, oh. the, the womp that's over by us. Yeah. yeah. Try to hit it with a projectile. That's great. Cut to cut off. off a foot. Ah, and then someone idea. can run up. Just, just, try to, just try to hit it. Just okay. try to hit it. Try so, to kill it, and then we can get the foot. That's why I think, that's why I'm delaying. I feel like... I'm invisible. If yeah. we kill it, I can easily get the foot, maybe. Yeah. So and disappear. don't projectile, just try to kill it. No, no you no. can projectile to okay. kill it, but but I'm saying if you try to like target a limb, it, it might make the roll so hard you just won't right. hit. Yeah, and okay. you, can, you can find a blunt projectile, so you'll get that bonus damage too. If right. you hit. But we're going against the womp. They don't, they're, are they more oh, you're susceptible going to bludgeon? That's right, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. So it doesn't yeah. matter. So I'm gonna spend one action then. I'm so sorry, Egg. I hope you live, I guess, whatever. Um, I'm spending one action to so continue. Cool. <laughs> no. No. I actually do kind of like um, telepathically like feel its pain a little oh bit. Oh my God. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I'm immolated. This is a continuation of Suki's nightmare. She's hurting yet another thing. Great. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm spending one action to um, Makes continue. me wonder. If it was an accident the first time. Mm. I'll never say. <laughs> Think of the children. Everyone thinks I'm the evil one, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm spending one action to do my uh, shield again, which is just verbal, which won't provoke. But when I do telconnect projectile, that is somatic and that will provoke. So do you want me to do that first or do you want to do your provokey thing first? Um, I'll do my provokey thing first. Okay. Um, that will interrupt your casting. Cool. Let's see. I don't know, this this die's been rolling real well, but uh, it's not rolling well now. That is a 26 to hit. I did not use my guidance and I don't think I can use it on my ace status bonus. I can use a plus one to a status bonus. Does that include ace? 
No, attack roll, perception, saving. My AC is 25 with my shield, which uh, is why I'm like, uh, can I use my uh, guidance that I cast? Did I roll? Uh, well, you rolled sure. a 26, oh, so but that it was still hit anyway. For my last still, turn. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I, I thought, I'm sorry, it's a miss. It's a 23. I thought that was a nine. I rolled a six. Oh, I'm awesome. so glad that I asked a question and made you think about it more. That's, That's, right. Right. <laughs> That's a Lesson real Lesson learned. Um, okay, yeah, miss. So I continue. <laughs> uh, what 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 do I throw at it? A uh, um, piece of fence? Yeah, sure. Dude, well, you so. want to, yeah, there's like a, the, the, uh, it's a metal fence with like spikes at the top and there's like some spikes that have rotted over time. And so it's like a, ye- uh, not a, it's like a yellowing spike, not ceramic, because it wasn't alive to begin with, but it's just like a rusted rusty arrowhead spike. almost. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, okay, Come on, impale go. it. Natural 11, so that's a 27. That's a 27 <laughs> against go. the womp is a hit. Yeah. yeah. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, so that's, <laughs> 46? Hold on, I wasn't prepared for this. I gotta get to you. <laughs> Only got three, so here we go. That's four, five, six, seven, nine, plus four, it's 13 points of damage. 13 That's terrific. points nice. of damage nice. is fantastic. Really so it's just like, yeah. Yeah, I imagine this little spike just comes flying through and comes out the other end. Uh, but also, it, I would assume that provokes. We did. We, we settled that before. We I settled that. Sorry, I missed. Got it. I missed it. My nine. That was actually a six. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. Yes. Uh, all right, Eris. All right. All right. It is Womp number four's turn. Who could forget Womp four? This is where he would have taken that ring of fire damage, and he too backs up. He doesn't like this shit. They're scared of fire in my world here. Um, and now it's Aldo's turn. Most things are scared of fire in most worlds. I think that's a safe yeah. d- default position to take. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess I'm just gonna, yeah, closed on me. All right, I'm gonna take a step back, <laughs> closer and closer to the edge of the universe. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw, yeah, I'm actually gonna throw one at the one that's uh, on Suki here. I'm gonna throw a, an acid flask on that one. Oh, okay. Natural one. Oh, oh. gosh, golly poop. <sighs> Would it make you feel better to choose the city? Uh, Absalom. <laughs> Do we have any uh, fumbles from Absalom, Joe? Uh, <laughs> no. It's the closest city. <laughs> but we have Absalom. the. We have the uh, Are you sure? We have the next best thing. Uh, Daytona? Rome, Italy. Oh, uh, uh, hey, that's where whoa. the city was just in Rome. Holy shit! Or Italy. Don't this blame one this from on Andrew me. in Naples. Ah. Oh, hey, Andrew. Wow. Really? Uh, Napoli. Napoli. Na- Napoli. That was way off. Uh. You miss so bad. You can't. St- oh, this is horrible. Skip. Uh, don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> you miss so bad. You can't stop thinking about how poor your aim was. Lose all remaining actions in the current round. Oh, come okay. on. <laughs> oh, Didn't no. they know when they wrote that skid might get it? <laughs> I, it's, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I I only had one action left, and it oh, was oh, oh, probably going to I thought you had anyway. two left. No, because I had to step back, so. Well, Skid, his name was Andrew. I will email you his address, which I have here. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> grazie, <laughs> Andrew, grazie. Hey. Grazie, grazie. Grazie. Now, grazie. To go, now to get you to go to Naples. I love John Naples. I love Naples. I've been to Naples, Florida. I'd love to go to Naples, Italy. Complete <laughs> <laughs> the set. It's They're not really as nice. Really similar. Really mm. similar. Um. Yeah. One thing we forgot, Eris, on your turn would have been uh, Egg's turn, so Egg takes another 12 points of damage. Well, actually, I also just read that um, minions don't use any actions if we don't command them, except to defend themselves or escape from obvious harm. Oh. So I'm gonna say that they did that. back up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so min- minions just get a free free actions if it falls into those two categories? If given no commands, minions new, use no actions except to defend themselves or to escape obvious harm. And my familiar has the minion. 
tree. That is All actually right, so brilliant. That's so smart. They wrote that in the rules. That's right. great. All right, so minions. Oh, now little, she's disturbingly tall. Little eggs. Or they, yeah. They're disturbingly <laughs> tall. Like, fuck you guys. <laughs> Runs up here. <laughs> Fucking out of here, man. Egg is Kenny from South Pole. <laughs> that thing's hot. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, so that was Aldo's turn. Now it's uh, Ceramic Guardian 2's turn. This Ceramic Guardian, if you're following along at home. Wh which one is this? This is the one right next to Eris. Oh. Has yet to been t have been touched. Um, it will take a massive swing at Eris's yawning flesh. Um, all right, let's see. That is <laughs> a 29 see. to hit. Yeah, that hits even with my shield. The Cemetery Sentinel. What are you hitting me with? A long sword. Oh, okay. Um, give me my damage. Not terrible. Uh, 12 points of slashing damage. And you need to make a fortitude save. Oh, oh right. do I? Because I remember this time. Because my gaping flesh yawns open. Natural 20 on the fortitude Phew. save. <laughs> but you know what? That means that this attack can't possibly be a natural 20. Second attack uh, is going to be a 27 to hit. God. Which hits for... 15 points of slashing damage. Uh, and then it will yet again raise a shield. And then it is Ceramic Guardian 3's turn, which is the one that is facing Suki. And that one is on fire. So that one will take a swing at the Sukmeister General. Uh, 20, excuse me, 32 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Hits you for 20 points of slashing damage. Mm. Oh, man, this sucks. Hey. Yep, second attack may be a critical. Uh, that is a... With the map. 31. No. No, probably, no, not a critical, no. I rolled a 90-19, that's why. But I, I'm, I am about to go down. Well, let me ask you this. Is 14 points of slashing enough to get you down? No, but it is so close. Does your ring of fire require concentration. No, it just lasts for a minute. I knew that when I cast it, just in case this happened. That's Great. amazing. Okay. Yeah. Woo -hoo. All right, so now uh, give me that persistent fire damage, kid, because last action I'm going to raise my shield. Okay, it's just, uh, I don't roll four. Oh, it's just two four. Two points. Oh, it's two, okay. Or, yeah. All right, and then uh, flat check, 14 on the die. Uh, he is still on fire. Awesome. Okay. And now it is Womp Number One's turn. Womp Number One is the one that felled Ethel. So then, it's, is, my then turn. it's Ethel's turn. Yeah, this is where he would have taken his damage. Um, Hold on, it's Ethel's turn. Now. Oh, it goes right before. I'm sorry. I yes. Go, I moved in the yeah. issue. Okay, so I get my flat check. I am dying too. So this is this is DC 12. Recovery check. Recovery check. Uh, that is a 16. So okay. Nice. I wake up in a horrible ring of fire. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> oh no! You, you, you are you're dying, dying, dying one. <laughs> All right, so you go from dying two to dying one, uh, which is better than dying two, and twice as good as dying three. Uh, okay, now it is Womp Number One's turn. This is where he would have taken his damage. Um, he is actually going to come out of the fire, so he will take another four d six points of damage. Uh, that's you, Suki. Oh, sorry. I, my camera on. <laughs> I was just looking at all of my spells trying to figure out how not to die. Actually, Suki, Correct. give me... Uh, it, it looks like I haven't taken any damage yet, because I think we... Uh, so give me 4d6 twice. Because he crossed... Oh. Yeah. yeah. 18 for the first one. Okay. And you are rolling. Yeah. That was a 5-5-5. Five, yeah, five, five. Ooh, double sixes and <gasps> double ones. Uh, so Ooh. that's going to be a third... Uh, 14. 14. 14. Wow. Okay. All right, so significant damage. It's going to come up. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. I know, that sucks. It sucks. <laughs> and uh, it's going to, let's see, it was, let me just see how far I got. 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 10, all right, so it comes all the way up to Aldo, um, but as it moves past the guardian that's near Suki, it, that guardian swings at it. Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, rolls a 28 <laughs> and hits it for uh, 
13 points of damage. Perfect. And then it uh, attacks Aldo with its jaws. One bite. You know, the, everybody knows the rules. One bite, everybody knows the rules. It's going to be uh, 34 to hit. Uh, yeah, that is a crit. Oh. My God. So just like what happened to Ethel, uh, I said that's 30 points of slashing damage. Man. Oh, no, I'm not slashing. I'm looking at the wrong piercing. damage. Uh, it is 13 points of piercing. Sorry, I was looking at this ceramic guarding. Oh, times two, 26 points of piercing. Okay, okay. Ooh. Sorry, yeah. Ooh. Still up? Still up, barely. All right, now give me a fortitude save. Jeez. Oh, uh, natural one. This is the best. Oh, oh my right there God. With you. So you go right to stage two of Grave Rot uh, as well. Uh, okay. Sickened two. Okay. <laughs> but that lasts for eight hours before you're going to roll again. Great. Um, all right, so yeah, it's it's gross, disgusting mouth covered in uh, just dead flesh gets on you, and uh, you have contracted grave rot. It is now Womp Six's turn. All right, so these Womps are all back here, and, and until something changes, uh, I'm gonna kind of leave them there for now. So it's gonna then go to Suki. Big big turn for Suki here. Oh my God! All right, yeah, Suki's not doing too hot. Suki's gonna take. Uh, a step back to be out of the AOO of uh, that guardian that's on fire. And she is going to cast Wild Shape. And sh I'm going to turn into a big old bron brontosaurus. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Which is, a, which is a dinosaur that never existed. Doesn't exist. What? But maybe it does in Galarian. Maybe, maybe it does in Galarian. Yeah. yeah, how dare you? It was just the wrong skull on another dinosaur. You could be a Is Brachiosaurus. Yeah. yeah. And a, and a, a Patosaurus. made up dinosaur, yeah. You learn something new every day. Wow. Yeah, bra Brachiosaurus are, more, are bigger anyway. Be one of them. Sure. And they got the whole nostrils on the top of the head. I, yeah. I, let's assume that this is the bronchiosaur because basically I'm using this for its uh, bludgeoning damage. It has tail bludgeoning as well as foot bludgeoning. So just a big, big boy. Um, awesome. What size is it? Uh, I believe it's medium. I don't think I can change this. Oh, no. Uh, okay, I'll get large, it. large animal. It's a large animal. Okay, I'll find one eventually. All right, here's one that has like wheels on it. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big dinosaur wearing uh, roller skates. That's comical and fun. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Yeah, I think that might be like a, I think that's a, looks like a, like a catapult attached to a triceratops' back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you're right. That's what you said, right? That's dope. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. I tried to follow your description <laughs> closest I could. I... Amazing. Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They I called me Triceratops. Right. Can you so imagine you the guy who, a who devoted his life to inventing the catapult that one could affix to a triceratops <laughs> in case they came back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be ready. Sadly, uh, he was killed. And that's all my actions because I had to move back because I didn't want to die. All right, so move back. Turn into a triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> it is now uh, Atticus's turn because uh, Womp Five is is busy. Uh, I'm still just waiting. Still just busy. waiting. Waiting okay. for you to kill this Womp. Um, the Womp that is near the Ceramic Guardian will actually bite at the Ceramic Guardian. <laughs> this is perfect. Uh, Breaks his teeth and takes damage. Yeah, he actually um, he hits him for. Uh, eight, six, 14 points of damage. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. now it is from a guardian one's turn. Which one is this? Ah, all right. This is, this one is just to the north of Eris. It will strike out at Eris as well. Eris, you better hope for some low rolls here. Yeah. My shield's gone now. Okay, oh, that was a low roll. That is a 23. Miss. Nice. Nice. Second attack is a 25. Hit. Damn. And that one is, yikes, 19 points of slashing damage. All right. And it raises its shield. Okay. Um, 
Skid. It's a new round. It's a Yay. new round in this horrible, horrible fight. Um, let's take it to Ceramic Guardian 4. That is the one uh, that is near the Womp. So he is going to unload on the Womp where yes. Ethel is still out. Okay, this might be enough to kill the Womp. Uh, that is a 20, so he misses on the first attack. Come on. Uh, and then he hits with a 29. Yeah. Uh, 10, 18 points of damage. And that is enough to kill the Womp. Yes. Oh my god. The Womp had 16 hit points left. All right, we so there was a dead Womp on the battlefield. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a dead Womp <laughs> on the battlefield. Can we just grab the whole corpse? Yeah, can we just like body, like just like body hug, like the whole corpse and wake yeah, up? Yeah, when does it become an object? You know what I mean? The, the foot, yeah. like. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really interesting, right? Yeah. How big are they? Are, are they? I mean, like, I mean I'm sure if the rule says it's three actions to cut the foot off, like you have to cut the foot off. Also, sure. I think Joe, I would argue that cutting the foot off of a dead womp is not an offensive. Yeah, you're not no, stealing exactly. any damage. You can stay invisible. I would agree. I would exactly. agree with that. That's yeah. my whole my whole plan. Okay. All right. So there is a dead womp. Uh, that guardian is now. Uh, you've he's lost that target. Oh my um, god! If this works, Joe, this might be the first time in how many episodes? Sixty three <laughs> episodes that your delay strategy actually paid <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah this man. would be incredible. This would be such a huge, <laughs> dramatic well, let me ask payoff. You what, Brian. It's uh, it's Eris's turn, but you you delayed, so you can go whenever you want. Yeah, and I'm just trying to decide if my uh, if doing this is going to oh, whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna do it. But okay, we have here's to what get gonna, there. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna yeah. move up next to it. Okay, then I'm mm -hmm. going to cast illusory object right where. Um, egg is and I'm okay. going to appear crawling out of the ground a large size womp that looks ah. like a mama womp and it makes this horrific bleeding sound and it's like <laughs> and uh, attracts the attention of all constructs Ooh, by, who? by law what? By, by that's law. right out of the book huh? wow. right out of the book uh, so yeah, that, and that's three actions. Okay. Right. <laughs> not an go. offensive act, not an attack. No, not an attack. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Over here, you dummies! Hey! <laughs> Suki sees it as a dinosaur and is like, oh my god, this is... This is terrible. This yeah, is Yeah, absolutely... and now Suki's gonna be spend all her actions attacking it. <laughs> Look at dismissing the illusion. Look at this stop, battlefield. Stop, stop. There's a ring of fire around a dying Ethel, <laughs> a triceratops, and a giant womp saying, hey! 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 <laughs> All right, so then you move to it. This is a terrible, terrible nightmare. <laughs> it's really, it really is. This is right at the edge of a graveyard. Ethel thought, if Ethel yeah. manages to wake up, he thought it was a pretty terrible nightmare. And then if he's going to wake up inside of a ring of fire with a dinosaur and a mama womp, like. <laughs> yeah, like, he's going to, to think that he died and went to hell. Like, that I would be his that. first assumption. And then he's oh. going to have to, and when he realizes that's not true, he's going to maybe have to consider his employment. Yeah. It is Eris's turn. Eris. Um, you've hung out with these people long, long enough. You might be able to discern that this is the work of the illusionist rat. Um, but right now you've got two guys in front of you that are set on killing you. What yeah. do you do? Um, I need to get away from these things. So I want to take a five foot step. Yeah. Okay. But you still have reach, right? Yeah, well, you need to, still, you would need to move yeah. back away. <laughs> That's kind of more of a lateral yeah. Yeah. promotion. <laughs> um, <laughs> lateral promotion. <laughs> and you're still in the same I shitty take, position. I know. Like after I take a five foot step, can I then like what? I've got twenty five feet of speed. Damn it! Um, I I'm feel like cast... in two E you can step and then stride, like. You yes. can just get away. Yeah. That's how you withdraw, I think, in 2E. Mm -hmm. And then striding is your two like, other actions. Just your speed. Yeah. 
Stra- okay. Stride is one action. Move up to your speed, which is twenty-five or thirty feet. If okay. you want, you could literally just take off. But you can I'm double. Gonna, sh- yeah, you can double stride. Is what I'm going to double stride, which is fifty feet. Um, and I want to move up next to my poppet. So I'm going to take it with me when we wake up. I feel like Atticus has got this. All right. Well, if you want to move next to the poppet, that's where it's going to get a little tricky because you want to avoid. Yeah. The ceramic jaws. I have to like go down and around. No, you haven't been. You can't there reach that way. it. Because right. of the fire, you want to go can get, up and around. You can get the about ten feet from the illusion uh, where, where I'm pinging, right under the. Hey. Okay. That, that's fifty feet without provoking. Well, that means avoiding the guardian that I'm pinging here. Yeah, yeah, no, she goes around the bottom, and can get here, and can like, do that without provoking from this guy. Yep. You can go right behind Atticus and get yep. to there, and that it's fifty feet. Okay. Okay, and that's my turn. I like that. All right, running so far, around. Step back. <laughs> And then a uh, fifty-foot run uh, towards your poppet and this hey, giant. Stay put, stay put. Mommy's coming. <laughs> you burned me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Womp Number Four's turn. Womp Number Six is dead. Womp Number One is the other one that's crossed. So, not worrying about him. So then it goes to Aldo's turn. Aldo. Yeah, this really is like so horrific. It's just like he's he's sickened now. He's being cut open by this horrible Hieronymus Bosch creature. <laughs> His employees engulfed in flames. Uh, he's going to take a five foot step back <laughs> and he's going to throw a alchemist fire at this womp. He's trying to buy time. Uh, that is a 24 to hit. 24 hits. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, that is 14 points of damage. And that womp is dead. Oh, oh my goodness. Right, it took nice. the AOO and everything. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's dead great. Wombs. We've okay. got multiple <laughs> options. <laughs> and we're going to oh. throw three feet at the foot yeah. of the dead poet. <laughs> or the, Count to, make, them. to make up for the stuff we didn't get. Right, exactly. Right. And actually, the ceramic warrior next to the Womp also takes four points of fire damage. Right. Okay. Splash. And I'm going to throw an acid flask on that self-same ceramic guy. Uh, that is a 20, 21 to hit. 21 misses. So that is, that is four points of acid splash damage. Nice. Okay. So now you've got the two persistent. Or, oh, I'm sorry. You already killed the womp. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But that's it for me. That's it for you. Good round there. So you got two womps. You do have two options, and you got to consider that it takes three actions to wake up, and it's a will save. That's not a gimme. Uh, so having multiple options here is going to be good. I'm not but- going to wake up. I'm definitely going to die. <laughs> I, I, I don't see any way that I get out of this without going crazy. Yeah, I also think that we're we're okay, I think, in this case. I think dying is okay here because it, they can heal us when we right. wake up. That's true. We're in the one no, I don't know about the place. I don't know about the grave rot, but yeah, this is the first situation where even after we wake up, we're with people that have the magic to cure the madnesses. Yeah, yeah by deciding to spend the night with the Stardust Augers, you feel like you'll be safe uh, should you die. Uh, this ceramic guardian moves up to Atticus, uh, excuse me, to Aldo and takes a strike. That's a 25. The hit. Um, all right. That's still Six, huge. Just pulling him away is huge. 16 yeah. points of slashing. Okay, and I'm down. Uh, Dying right. one. So Atticus goes down and then uh, with its Aldo. remaining, excuse me, Aldo, with its remaining action, it starts going towards the Triceratops. Uh, and then uh, Ceramic Guardian 3. Which one is that? <laughs> so many of these fucking things. All right, this one is going to move up to uh, the uh, Triceratops and Wait, take Take a your s- fire damage before you do that. I, no, doesn't? I take it at the end of my turn. End of the turn. Oh, at the end of the turn, sorry. Uh, that's going to be a 35, Suki. Come on. Is that a crit? Uh, hold on, let me check. Which is with why my it's so big. Like dinosaur. End of the, form. End of the turn is important because it doesn't go down before it gets its actions to kill you. Yeah. No, that's not a crit. <sighs> not a crit. Okay. But it is definitely a hit. And is it 
You have new hit points now, or no, you still maintain your hit points? No, I have new hit points. You do? Yeah, AC equals 18 plus my level. Right, but your hit points still remain your Oh, hit sorry, points. new hit points. I have 15 tempor temporary hit points. You get that little boost, John. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, that first attack, <laughs> you're going to take uh, 14 points of slashing. Okay. Oh there goes most of the temp. You could you could survive this. No. Second attack. No. Uh, oh, 22. Miss. Miss, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. it had to move to get there. So you survived it. And now it is, uh, Ethel, give me another roll. Uh, hold on, uh, fire damage oh, and- fire. Oh, fire, yep, sorry. And then the roll, the persistent roll. Still, I rolled a 10, so. Yes, yes, kid. Yeah, burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, and burn. that's two points of fire. Please okay. die. Okay, now, Ethel, give me your roll to see if you- Please die. <laughs> come back to life. Uh, die. 13. 13, oh. so I okay. wake up. You do not wake up. You are right, at zero, oh. unconscious, but my, not dying. Can I spend my hero point now to return to one hit point? I think you can, yeah. I don't see why not. Oh yeah, you can just wake up. You can wake up and then wake and up. And then wake up. Yeah, Yeah. so I'll do that. Um, you can spend all your hero points when your dying condition would increase. Right. Or. Yeah. You lose the dying condition and stabilize. You don't get the wounded condition, uh, or you can use it to reroll a check. Yeah, I don't. You, can, you can. I thought you could spend it to return to zero. To you can use it when your dying condition yeah. would increase. Yeah. So you have to fail yeah. a dying roll. Yeah, that's the one caveat that uh, early on we were forgetting about. Yeah. All right. So I'm just at zero hit points. Zero, and then like unless somebody heals you, you're just not dying. Right. right. Well, but it, but uh, he can wake up naturally within ten minutes, uh, minimum, maximum oh, one hour. It? Depend not maximum one hour. It's depend on the GM, but it's usually minimum ten minutes. Can you, you can naturally recover one hit point, but by that point the creatures would just eat your body. So it's kind of how long you, is you the would have to get magically healed? Last? A minute. You're also wounded one. Yes. You're wounded one from going, uh, from dying to uh, not dying. So you're wounded one. If you go dying again and come back again, you'll go to wounded two. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. It is Suki's turn. I can't believe you're still alive. I cannot believe I'm still alive. This is truly the dice gods have blessed me. Um, hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> she She's thinking about going to that big mama wall, but she goes, meh, ah! She goes, uh, maybe not. And she's going to whip her uh, tri, what do we call it? Tricer cat of ter ceratops? Tri Triceratops? <laughs> Triceratops. <laughs> she's gonna whip her tail around and smack the um, uh, ceramic guardian to the left, the one that is not on fire. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna be my Can I ask diet. why? Uh, he hurt me. Okay. Yeah. Because the other one has taken a lot of damage, and that oh, one has Okay, you know what, I'll hit the damage one first. I'm, I get to it, I'm gonna attack twice, but uh, I'll hit the damage one first. Okay. And let me just see. You should hit him second, too. <laughs> okay, we'll just see what happens. Uh, that's gonna be, what is my plus? Is it still my regular plus? Sorry, give me one sec. We're having a good time. Going long today, huh? Yeah, very for long. Real. Sixteen. Who would have guessed it with twenty-five combatants? <laughs> Pathfinder two e. It's really it's 20, good for a good tight at one hour show. Twenty-six to hit. <laughs> Twenty-six to hit is a hit. Also, bada you bada boom. you keep saying the system makes combats long, but you put nineteen enemies in every fight that we. I have. didn't put them in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are you are you know you are endowed with the authority to alter. I know, but if I do that, it's, it, it's you're gonna just stomp these encounters, you know? It's yeah, that is to be the way the system is balanced, is by like multiple enemies. Yeah, yeah more creatures. Enemies, so, yeah, yeah you, we would have stomped this unwinnable combat. <laughs> <laughs> this one, honestly, this won't be a Gatewalker's problem, but uh, it's a problem right now for these encounters. Um, so I did say tail. I reached that, the I realized the foot has 2d8 and the tail is 2d6, but that's okay, because I rolled double sixes. So that's going to be 12, 12 plus 9. 
I have a damage bonus of a plus nine as this creature. Nice. Okay, is that bludgeoning damage, by Bludgeoning shit? damage. Beautiful. Ooh. And did I miss your hit roll? Uh, 26. 26, yeah. It was 26. Okay. Okay, so that does extra damage. Do you want to attack that one again? It didn't die? No. <laughs> oh, they don't, that's... They don't ever die. Uh, they have <laughs> unlimited hit points. Uh, I will try to attack it again. Why not? The only enemies in the game that is unlimited. <laughs> Natural <laughs> Twanzoni. Yeah, oh, there we go. The, the Twanzoni. Now we will truly see if a construct can fall. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then I'll do, I'll do the two d8. I'll do it with the uh, the foot is two d8s for bludgeoning. Wait, I'm, so you are, roll are we, and then are decide. Are we getting a crit or what? Yeah, you're a named character. You're oh, a named character. Yes. <laughs> All right, pulling yeah. a rando we got from James the Limey. Oh, in Austin, oh, I Texas. I know that guy. I know that oh. guy from Twitch. Yeah, he lives in Austin. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, James the Limey? Jimmy. Uh, James. <laughs> Perfect segue. And then the first thing the goddamn thing says in brackets is, Joe, it's pronounced segue. And like <laughs> phonetically writes out segue. <laughs> it's offensive. Because he would have said segui. Segui. <laughs> <laughs> Your attack is so perfect that with the effortless grace of Skidmar doing a Legacy of the Ancients intro, you launch another attack immediately afterward against a target already within range. Oh, wow. The initial Amazing. critical hit does double damage. The attack roll for the follow-up is made as a free action with a plus four circumstance bonus. The follow-up uh, follow attack is otherwise made with the same attack penalty as this attack. As this attack. So oh. you still take your one... No. It's, it, it's yeah. basically oh. the penalty of your second attack, not yeah, your yeah, penalty yeah. of your third, but you get a plus four circumstance bonus. So oh, this is awesome. Thank you, James. That's Thank great. you, James Lalimi. That's a fun one. Thanks, man. Uh, so that's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 uh, times 2. So 24. 34. 34. 34. Plus the weakness. And for the yeah. first time, a ceramic guardian <gasps> shattered. Oh, my God. The first time in the history of the Dreamlands. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> it just and crumbles it was with to the, the ground. It was with the foot, too. So this dinosaur just grinds this. It's just like it goes beneath the earth. It is like buried into this uh, soil. Nice. And then awesome. I'm going to attack the one next to it. Why not? I'm having a blast. Yeah, you yeah. wanted to do this all along. Yeah. We're having a good time. All right, so use your second attack but add a plus four to it in terms okay. of the numbers. 25. 25 is a hit. Yay! Nice. Uh, and this will be with, I'm gonna go back to the tail bludgeoning, which is the 2d6. I rolled better on that. Uh, six, four, uh, 15. 15, all right. With the bludge, that is a, a nice little chunk, and that guy has finally taken damage. And Seven then, rounds into the combat. Then. <laughs> and he was a frontline combatant the entire time. Then, uh, Suki is gonna move uh, away. Wait, would that incur? Yes. Moving away, yes. Unless you just do a step. But did that guy, that guy already went in this round. So he already, oh no, he didn't. It's just a reaction. If you just take a step, oh, it's, it won't. You won't hurt you, but if you want to move more, I uh, just I'll take a I'll take a step back. Um, it's not going to help me. I'm going to die in the next round, but okay. I did my best. It will help um, you because it forces him to use an action to move. Yeah. It helps. But I'll die after one swing. So this was a fun time. You can now control the dinosaur, but I'll slide. Oh, him. thank you. Slide her watch, back. Watch this. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh man, <laughs> she's mad with power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hell of a round for Suki here. Um, where the hell are you? All right, it's uh, Ceramic Guardian 1's turn. Or is he the... No. Ceramic Guardian 1 is the one that's near Aldo. Aldo's down, so he is going to slide over to Eris. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at Kate's oh, no. face. Oh, no. Flanking with the Womp. Uh, oh, There's my no God. Near me. You are so lucky, the Illusory Womp. Uh, oh, okay. I rolled a 22. That's a miss, right? Oh, that's a miss. Oh. All right. Second and final attack. Come on. Come on. 20. Yeah! Miss, yeah! Miss, miss, miss. Taking shots. All right, shots. so that miss. guardian <laughs> misses as well. <laughs> All right, we got a new round here, and it is... 
the one near Atticus's turn, the guardian near Atticus. All right, so Ethel is still out. Uh, this one goes up to the illusion yes. and strikes at the illusion. Uh, so do I have to roll to hit it? Uh, uh, we did this um, a couple weeks ago, I can't remember. I think it's once I interact with it, I know it's not, right? Um, do you make illusion? a will Any creature will that save. touches the image or uses the seek action uh, can attempt to disbelieve the illusion. All right, so what's the will save? It's a will save. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure I got their will. Very low will. Uh, that is a 18. Okay, so that's a fail. So basically, right. he hits the image. It has, you know, it, it, it feels like, to him, it feels like it, it, he can smell it, he can hear it, he can see it, and it looks like it just dodged out of the way of his He's yeah. like, down, foul beast! <laughs> he swings again. Or he hits it and, like, it wounds wounds it. It's like, aha, I wounded it. Yeah, yeah. I, you know? I swung again He's and I had it. He's seeing what he wants to see. A yeah, natural yeah. two on the uh, will save uh, for the second attack. Um, so he moves up, swings twice, and he's like, ah, I oh should my God. defeat So you. that's a critical failure. On a critical failure, you set down all weapons and walk casually away from the combat. <laughs> that is not what you <laughs> For do. one minute. That's what it says. Oh, wow. My. What? That's Casually? so lucky. <laughs> so that's, so, that's so that's so well. fortunate. <laughs> what the hell? You know what? This I'm wedding done. statue puts down its sword <laughs> and shield. <laughs> And walk off. It's, it's funny that it says casually. Out. I know. It's casually. It's, weird, it's not afraid. <laughs> there a bit of flavor they threw in there. <laughs> putting, putting that horrible monster behind it. Uh, he's just like, hey, I'm Is sure it won't Guardian whistling as he saunters away? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Uh, Atticus, it is your turn. Well, we have a problem, which is I forgot about the uh, action required to pull out a goddamn oh, dagger. Of course. Don't worry about it. Okay. This? Dagger this? comes out. You Free this action, hand? dagger draw. Three actions to cut the thing off. Yeah, honestly, it's 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 a little arbitrary, the amount of actions. Like, you just have to spend a turn doing it. So you're okay. spending the turn pulling out the thing, and you're fucking hacking away. <laughs> and he's just away. like, I mean, he is so stressed. He's trying to get this thing off, so, and he's looking around, because he expects any second a giant spear is just going to go right through his back or something. You know what I mean? He's just like yeah, looking yeah. behind him. <laughs> 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 All right, so you have this foot. At any point, anyone could come take this foot from you. Uh, but Ethel and Aldo are unconscious, and uh, Suki's about to go down, and Eris is going after the poppet. I mean, yeah, this is... Oh, boy. Uh, Aldo, give me a roll uh, to see if you... Stabilize. It's DC 11, right? Uh, yeah, I'm dying one, so that is a fail. So I'm at dying two. All right, so Aldo goes to dying two, and then uh, the ceramic guard, the remaining ceramic guardians here. Um, this one will step up and attack Suki Saurus. Oh. Uh, that's a 29 to hit Suki Saurus. Yeah. Suki Saurus for 12 points of slashing damage. And I'm down. I had one hmm. point. I had one hit point. Oh, you one did great. I, had, I had six hit points. I had six hit points. Okay. So and, I uh, turn out. I turn. My dinosaur disappears. It's just whoosh. And Suki's limp, lifeless body just plummets like five feet down to the ground. And it starts making its way toward the womp. And perhaps egg. Uh, as we're guarding number three... Okay, that's the one that's dead. Uh, so now it goes to Ethel. Ethel, what can uh, you do? I dream. Do you dream in the dreamlands? Does <laughs> will I dream? I dream. Uh, yeah, you can't do anything, right? Unless somebody can come heal you in that ring of fire. Yeah, um, you, the rule says that GM's discretion is what would wake me up naturally. Minutes, anywhere from minutes to hours. Yeah, I mean, this is the safest place for you because at a certain point, post-combat, you could wake up and just uh, roll that will save to wake up and be fine. I've got uh, less than a minute before the fire goes away and everyone descends upon me and eats me. This is true. Um, <laughs> and eats my, and eats my butt. <laughs> yeah. Suki, you now move. That might wake me up, <laughs> but it would also kill me. Suki, you move in the initiative order. Uh, Ceramic Guardian 1. This is the one near Eris. Let's see if Eris is going to fall. That might be a crit. It's certainly a hit. 
Uh, maybe not a crit. Thirty-five. Yeah, that's a that's a crit. Oh, oh dear. Crit. Wait, Eris really didn't cool. go. Eris didn't go yet. Didn't I that one? Gone yet. That one already. Oh, did I skip swung? you? I'm sorry, yeah. Eris. I skipped you. So you go. You should be sorry. You I'm sorry. Take back that crit. There's 400 um, characters on my initial <laughs> job. <laughs> what I would like to do is have another person with us in combat. Um, so I'm going to take a five foot step back away from this and. Um, the courage of that creature walking towards that giant womp. <laughs> no, it'll kill you. No. <laughs> and remember, that womp is not standing there like. You know, like it, it's thrashing, it's like screaming, it's looking like it's swinging at things, you know, like it does yeah. look very scary and deadly. Um, five foot step back from the one that's on me, and I'm going to call out to Ethel to soothe you. I'm going to be like, babe. Um, <laughs> babe. It's going to be babe. all right. I believe in you. Um, <laughs> babe. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. So that's ben. 1d10 plus 4 hit points that you get. Oh, amazing. Um, Soon. Oh, wow. 10. Oh. So you get 14 nice. hit points, and then you also get a plus 2 status bonus to stage against mental effects for one minute if that comes up. Oh, um, that is great. Ethel wakes up into an awful... <laughs> into an awful, you, like, awful night. You hear Harris's voice like, in your mind like, wake hellfire. you up. Like, but surround he hears, like, fire. <laughs> but he hears Harris say, babe, babe. Maybe he thinks he's going to be all right. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you get a plus two to what saves? Um, mental. Uh, mental, effects. mental effects for the duration, which is one minute. That would be a, I'll give you that bonus to wake up. Because what? Why wouldn't oh, that be the, the wake up action? That is as mental as it comes. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Can I can I ruin this wonderful moment with no, rules, or, or should no, we just, just pretend that we don't play by the actual? Just let us get it wrong. Yeah. Okay. What is uh, the rule? No, tell us. Tell what happened. Is it touch? I believe that by the rules, you're gonna need a DC five flat check because he is concealed behind a wall of fire. Uh. Okay. Right. So it's That's not fine. ruined yet. Show what the hell? <laughs> I'm you know, just funny, thinking in my head about him being concealed, but I forgot that she can't see him. So yeah. DC five, just roll above a five on a D twenty. <laughs> Fifteen. There yeah. you go. Yeah. See, and you did it by the book, and you earned it. Yeah. Now nice. we can all Doesn't sleep. Doesn't that feel tonight. better? Love following rules. <laughs> Doesn't, Doesn't that feel better? Feel better. <laughs> no. You know what? It does. I love following rules. <laughs> <laughs> Soothe, babe. Hold on. Babe. There you are. Babe, <laughs> all in your head. <laughs> all right, now. Now I'm going to kill you. Now he moves up. I'll reroll. It's fine. I messed up. Uh, oh, uh, 25 is the first one. That hits for almost maximum damage. Yeah. That is tw uh, 23 points of slashing damage. Cool. I'm still up. Ooh. Damn. Still up. I, that shield really helps that I was casting, which I didn't cast last turn because I was saving. And I missed with a 16 on the final attack. Nice. All right. Okay. <laughs> Eris, you have been the tank. Yes. Yeah, basically, right? this combat. Seriously? Amazing. Shield cantrip is clutch, man. It is clutch. All right, it's round seven. This is what it all comes down to. It is Ceramic Guardian 4's turn. This is the one that is ha hacking at the womp. Uh, he critically failed his save, so he's like, I've almost got him! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is just going to be a straight up will save, and I failed again yes! with an 18. <laughs> Stand so down, dumb. beast! <laughs> Swings again. All right, Natty 19. Uh, he's now like, What the fuck have I been swinging at? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Um, and so. It's not even there. He's just going to close on Eris with his final cool. action. So cool. Um, so Eris is now Still surrounded. Eight four of that thing's actions, which is awesome. Yeah, two rounds of it. Um, and now Eris is surrounded by these ceramic guardians. And in fact, I don't think there's a five foot step she can make that doesn't put her <laughs> within range of their attacks because of the one to the north here. Um, all right. So this is really going to come down to the wire. It is Atticus's turn to try and wake up 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Here we go. Wake Waking up. up. Wake up, wake up, wake up! By the way, at round seven, I mean, that means we're... We're basically four... I've got, like, four attempts at this, essentially, before the invisibility just wears off. Uh, here we go. So we'll, we'll save, right? save. Come on, good buddy. Natty 17. Yes! 32. Yes. Atticus wakes up. You have six out of the seven gifts! Yes! And we'll see you next week! Yes! yes! That's pretty good. Yes! It's not we bad. will assume death for all other characters! <laughs> <laughs> I had a bonus to my Wilson. I had a I'm soon. <laughs> soon. We did it! Yes! Wow. <sighs>